Hi, I'm Jim Fitzsimmons. I'm joined with Kevin Quas today. Today's June 29th, 2020, and we're just going to hit some of the current topics that we've been hearing feedback on. So first, I just wanted to talk about COVID-19. Obviously, that's the largest topic on everyone's conversation, regardless of, uh, you know, who you're talking to. So just a few reminders, you know, in regards to keeping yourself safe out there. And so, you know, the biggest things you could do is, you know, washing your hands. If you can't wash your hands with, with so water and soap, then the hand sanitizer is your best bet. You know, I've seen that stuff all over the place. I'm starting to see it, you know, finally even now at stores. And so if, you, if you're running low or you're out, make sure the next terminal you get to, you ask for some more of that because we're gonna keep that supply just coming in. And so I would definitely keep hand sanitizer, gloves, and then mask are the three things you definitely wanna keep in your truck. We're also doing a pretty good job now of getting spray bottles with a uh, antibacterial spray along with rags or paper towels. And so same thing there, the more you, know, you could do to keep your truck clean, uh, the better you know, it's gonna keep you safe whether it's COVID or just not getting a cold or a flu, uh, the cleaner you keep your truck, the better off you're going to be uh, not picking up any, any germs. The other thing is social distance. And so you keep hearing a lot about that these days. And again, reminder, just keep that at least a minimum of a six foot of distance between you and others at all times. And I, I tell you that it gets a little more easy or you, you let your guard down, I guess I'd say, when you're at some place like work, or where you're comfortable around the people you're you're standing next to, but it's important not to let your guard down. So unless you're with you know family or that type of thing, definitely keep that six foot of distance. You know when you're in the the Swift terminal or the driver lounge, truck stop, customer, wherever it might be. And then you know third is the mask. Now masks weren't required for a long time. There was a lot of you know controversy over the mask back and forth. Should you wear them? Should you not wear them? You know all the experts now are saying that the mask is one of the keys to slowing the spread of the virus. And so, you know, you're, you're in your best interest to wear the mask when you're going to be in public. Some places you go, whether it's a state, city, county, or even a customer are requiring masks to enter their, you know, property as an example and going to a customer. So if you get to one of those places, j just put the mask on. It's, it's for your protection. Same thing goes with temperature checks. Some, you know, state, cities, counties are requiring that along with customers. And so don't be surprised if you pull into a customer and they've got to check your temperature and require you to wear a mask before you proceed onto their property. Second thing is the July 4th holiday coming up. You know, just be smart about not letting your guard down. If you're, if you're at home and you're going to a party, uh, again, you just got to make sure you're protecting yourself so that you're not only protecting you, you're protecting your family and you're protecting your livelihood. Drunk drivers, you know, this goes without saying every holiday, uh, there's always a spike in people out there driving impaired. We've actually seen a, a big increase with drunk drivers uh, in regards to crashing into Swift trucks during the COVID crisis. And so what I would tell you is even though the traffic is less right now, don't, don't be fooled. You gotta, you gotta be on point, paying attention like never before because there's so many more people out there uh, driving impaired. Kind of a quick market update. Retail has been busy uh, and it's continuing to stay busy. And so the good news there is, you know, freight's been strong. It looks like it's going to get even stronger. And we're starting to see some good weekend activity. Uh, the last two weekends, weekend over weekend, we've improved uh, pretty substantially. So great time to be out there, you know, making money. Just make sure you're being very safe about it and keep your eyes open. Appreciate everything that you guys are all doing to keep you know, swift moving, keep America moving, uh, keep it up, and then turn it over to Kevin Quast. Hi, everybody. It's uh, great to be with you today. Appreciate those uh, words from Jim. I had a few things that I wanted to touch base on today to uh, continue a little bit of what Jim was talking about and a couple of other topics. One of the things that we see um, qu um, questions coming in on from uh, our drivers um, was regard to the, uh, the mandate that was issued by the governors of New Jersey, New York, and Connecticut last week on Wednesday, stating that anybody entering into those states from a certain list of states, and those states included Alabama, Arkansas, Arizona, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, Utah, and Texas, and anybody coming from those states had to be quarantined for 14 days before they could go out into public. Um, I, we just wanted to, uh, to remind everybody that that does not apply to essential workers and 
trucking is an essential industry. Truck drivers are essential workers. And so um, you, you will not have any problem going in and out of those states as a normal course of business. Now, if you're on personal travel, that would be different, of course. And so, but um, as part of your normal course of work, um, you know, we, we, uh, we will be fine. And I've not heard of a single report of a driver saying that they were, they've had a, a you know, problem going into or out of those states. So just a reminder about that. The other thing I wanted to touch base on was just on, on a safety topic on the uh, new in the new cameras that are going in from Smart Drive. We've had Drive Cam for the longest time, and we are converting to Smart Drive. We have 7,000 units or so now installed in our trucks, and as the Smart Drive um, cameras are being installed, of course, there's a scoring system just like with the Drive Cam. And, you know, I I've, I've been really encouraged by the scores that we are seeing with our drivers. So in the Smart Drive system. The current score last week, back last two weeks, was a 17. This is for all the all the units that we were, were reporting for the week. On the prior three weeks, I believe it was, were a score of 18. Um, that is, those are really solid numbers. And hey, we still want to continue to improve, but those are really solid numbers. And and to me, it says a lot about the the focus on safety and the strength of our driving associates, our independent contractors who are participating and also the, the good work of our of our operations teams and our safety teams. And my gosh, I sure appreciate that. And I and I hope that all of all of you, particularly those of you who are, are uh, driving a truck as part of our team, that you see the value in this. And hey, I, I get that there's going to be times when it's going to be a little bit annoying and there's some things that might rub you wrong. And and hey, just just I'd encourage you to be patient with that. And just recognize that there are so many good things with this camera and we've seen so many times when our drivers have been exonerated. Um, we've seen so many cases where, hey, somebody, you know, might have a bad driving habit. I'm sure I have some. Somebody might have a drive bad, a bad driving habit. We can we can see it on the camera. We can we can coach a little bit and we can help develop. And I promise you at the end of the day, you're going to be a, a better driver going through that process. So um, but hey, hats off to to everybody and uh, and and uh, you know with the scores that we're seeing so far. Um, I want to just conclude by uh, by expressing my appreciation to all of you. Um, we have the 4th of July holiday coming up. I appreciate Jim's words of counsel and direction to each of us regarding safety, um, both with the pandemic and safety as we're driving and operating motor vehicles. Um, you know, it occurred to me as I was listening to Jim talk about all these things and we, how many times we heard about a sanitizer and social distancing and masks and all these kind of things, but, but these really are the keys. And if we will follow those, those, uh, those, those steps and do it, um, very diligently, I promise you that we're going to be fine. The great thing about a truck driving job is that is that you can control your environment because you're in that cab with yourself or if you're training, it's you and somebody else, your team, it's you and somebody else and you can control that environment. And uh, and it can be a, it can be a very safe job. It is a very safe job. And so, my gosh, we, we appreciate you and uh, we hope everybody has a wonderful Fourth of July. Um, aren't we all grateful to live in a country um, that we do where we can speak our mind or we can do do the things that we do and um, and and have those kind of privileges. I've spent time in countries that don't have those privileges and let me tell you they would love to have them and and, uh, and boy I'm sure grateful and I'm grateful for all those who have done so much to make that possible and continue to do so much to make that possible and I hope that all of you have an enjoyable fourth. Be safe, be careful and uh, let's continue to truck. Thanks everybody.